In this section, I'm going to show you how to create a basic message for printing. Along the bottom of the screen here, the home screen, you will see various icons. On the left side here, right next to the power off button is one called messages. If we press the message button, so this window, we can see a list of messages that have already been created. I'm going to go ahead and press new to add a new message. It's prompting me to put in a file name. The file name is going to be the name that the operator recognizes for the particular product that they are printing. This I'm going to go ahead and just put in a simple name code. And then I'm going to confirm that. Now it brings me into a selection of different types of fields that I can put into this message. I've got a simple text field. This is a fixed text. I've got an autocode field, which is variable text, like a best before date, a time code, or maybe a shift code. We have a user defined field. This would be prompting the operator to enter in variable information like a batch number at the start of a shift. We have then a barcode field, both linear and two-dimensional barcodes, and then a graphic field for putting in uh, basic graphics. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the text field, and I'm gonna hit the plus button to add a text. At this point in time, it brings me into the template, and I want to put in a two-line code. So I'm gonna go into the font, and on the template here on the right hand side, I'm going to scroll through until I see a two line code. There's four, there's three, two, two line, seven dot font. Now I'm going to put back into the keypad and I'm going to type in the information that I want to put in here. And I'm going to type in a very simple best space before. And then I'm going to put the colon. Now, a lot of operators actually don't use the variable field. They prefer going in each morning and physically typing in the date code. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the numbers and I'm going to put in some very simple numbers. Like this. Now this field is created and you can see that it's uh, highlighted in yellow, which means now that we can edit it or we can move it. So by holding this field, now I can move this to the top line or I can move it back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another new field. And for this, I'm going to go into new and I'm going to create another text field and I'm going to create the field. So batch, uh, then I'm going to use the number sign, put a space in, and I'm going to put in a fictitious batch number. And again, it's highlighted in yellow. So now I can grab this and I can move it to where I want it to go. I can align it with the other text as well. If I'm missing here, I can go into the settings and use this arrow. And now I can scroll across to the, st the start of the message. I'm going to select this batch, and now I'm going to drag this over so that both messages are in line. I could move it also so that it is central. Once we have created the message in the format that we want it in, I'm going to hit save. And this has saved that message as code into the memory of the printer. So now for selecting this message for printing, an operator is very simple key presses would highlight the message that they want to print, which is the code. It, it gives a quick preview of the message here. 
and they're going to hit this button here, which is select. Once they've selected that code, the printer returns back to the home screen. It gives you an, uh, the example of what we're printing and we're ready to print.